think you're doing? Please, please, I'm sorry, I wasn't before. I'm that sorry. really hurts. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Right, whatever. Please forgive me. Do you know what? You're not my friend anymore. I can't believe what I just heard about her. Hello, everyone. We're pleased to be back with you. We are the Winchester Deanery Schools team. I am Anna and this is the rest of the team. Today we're going to be thinking about forgiveness. In our Bible story today, there is a man called Jonah who really wants to say sorry. God has a job for Jonah, but Jonah doesn't want the job. Jonah, go to Nineveh and tell your worst enemies that I love them. No, they aren't bad people doing really bad things. Exactly. They have run far from me, but I won't stop loving them. I will give them a new start. I will forgive them. No, they don't deserve it. So Jonah decides to run away. Uh, one ticket to not Nineveh, please. Well, it wasn't long before a fierce wind blew and the rain beat down. The boat started going up and down, left and right, and everybody started turning green. No, this is all my fault. When Jonah realised the storm was happening because he tried to run away from God, he told the sailors to throw him overboard. As soon as Jonah hits the water, the waves grow calm and the storm stops. Just as Jonah thinks it's all over, God sends a big fish to rescue him. It swallows Jonah whole. Inside the big fish, Jonah has a lot of time to think. God, I'm sorry for running away and not doing what you asked. Please forgive me. God hears Jonah and forgives him. God makes a big fish spit Jonah out onto the beach. Jonah, go to Nineveh and tell the people how much I love them. So, in our story from the Bible today, God wants a man called Jonah to go to his worst enemies in a city called Nineveh. Jonah doesn't want to go there, and he certainly doesn't want to tell his worst enemies anything, especially not that God loves them and will forgive them for all the bad things that they've done. So, Jonah runs away. Jonah goes in completely the opposite direction. But not long after Jonah sets out, a massive storm starts. Jonah knows that the storm is happening because he has disobeyed God. So he tells the sailors to throw him overboard. When the sailors do that, the storm stops completely calm. Jonah must think that he's going to drown, being thrown out in the middle of the sea, but God sends a giant fish to rescue Jonah. It swallows Jonah whole. <gasps> and Jonah realises what he has done. From inside the fish's smelly belly, Jonah says sorry to God and God forgives him. Three days after he, that he was swallowed, the fish spits Jonah out onto the beach. And this time, when God asks Jonah to go to Nineveh, he goes. Jonah doesn't do what God asks him to do in the beginning. But when Jonah says sorry to God, God forgives him. The whole city of Nineveh has done lots of bad stuff. But then they say sorry to God. And God forgives them too. Christians believe 
that when we say sorry to God, God will always forgive us. So next time we mess up or do something wrong, and we all mess up sometimes, we can remember this story from the Bible. We can remember that Christians believe that when we say sorry to God, God will always forgive us. And maybe this will help us to forgive other people too. We're now going to have a song and I wonder if you can remember the actions to this song. It's Our God is a Great Big God. And just in case you've forgotten, the actions go like this. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and he holds us in his hands. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and he holds us in his hands. And then it goes, he's higher than a skyscraper, so you stretch up as high as you possibly can go. Higher than a skyscraper and deeper than a submarine. He's wider than the universe, stretch your arms out and be on my wildest dreams. Because he's known me and he's loved me since before the world began. How wonderful to be a part of God's amazing plan. And then we dance around like this. And then we go back to our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. And he holds us in his hands. I think you can remember those actions. So why don't you jump up, have a wiggle, have a shake, and get ready to do the actions along to our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. I'm going to ask you some questions so you can show me how well you have been listening. Now, I won't be able to hear your answers, so you can either shout them out anyway, or teachers, you might want to pause the video after I ask each question, let the kids answer, and then I'll reveal what the right answer is. So, question number one. Where does God ask Jonah to go? The answer is Nineveh. God asks Jonah to go to a place called Nineveh. Okay, question number two. What swallows Jonah in the sea? Hopefully you said a big fish or a whale. Okay, question number three. Now this is my final question and it's also a little bit trickier. What do Christians believe we can learn from this story? Mm. 
Christians believe that when we say sorry to God, God will always forgive us. Well done if you got all the answers to the questions right. To finish our assembly, I'm going to say a short prayer for us all. So please close your eyes so you're not distracted. And if you want to agree with my prayer, you can say Amen at the end with me. Dear God, thank you so much for this school. Thank you that we have learned from this story that Christians believe that when we say we are sorry to you, you always forgive us. Please forgive us now for things we have done wrong. God, I pray that you would bless every child and every staff member in this school. Amen. Well, thanks very much for watching our assembly today. It's been great to be with you and we'll see you again next time. That wasn't even funny. I had just got dry.